All right, everybody, welcome back to your favorite Minecraft, Minecraft, but it's impossible. Brought to you, as always, by our sponsor, the like button. In honor of episode three, perhaps we can get to three likes on this video. Also, I'll try to make three the maximum amount of times that I unlive in this episode. Is it likely? No. Hopefully, we don't have to go to the nether. Maybe we'll even have a chance to start looking for a stronghold. It's possible, but for now, I'm gonna go do something that I forgot about last episode, which is why would I go and try to hunt Enderman manually when I can just freaking go into the village over here and trade with a cleric that I can make. Also, I'm really low on food, so I'm gonna get some of that, but obviously not gonna get pork because that will not... <laughs> okay, he was, just, he was just taking a second. I was like, wait, wait a minute, you're supposed to evaporate. Um, but you're not doing that. Is everything okay working with the plugin? Oh man, I thought this time I'd be able to get to him in time, dude. I thought maybe the game was just giving me, I don't know, a little bit of a break. Hey, you know what? You're low on food. I'll let you eat some pigs really quick. No problem. I'm gonna be helpful for you. It's all good, dude. It's all good. I feel badly for you. So here's a little bit of a... We'll need to actually get a whole bunch of wood so that we can trade for emeralds with our boy over there at the village. Maybe I'll even sleep. Over there the village just so that we can be a little bit safer and closer and I'm leaving all our valuables aka the couple ender pearls and the remaining blaze rods over at our place next to the portal because you know we might as well there's also the question of whether or not I should uh, attempt to go mining and get some diamond gear before we make an effort to go to the end and I'm not sure I'm kind of torn on that. I mean, I've beaten the dragon a million times without having full diamond gear. But we have to deal with a bunch of endermen that are probably going to be angry at us. Without us even looking at them, they're just going to want to attack us. And it's going to make it very difficult for me to be able to take down the end crystals. I'm very curious how this is going to pan out because I've never dealt with that before. But hey... How about we get some sticks up here? Okie dokie. I mean, that I think is going to be our best bet at getting a good supply of emeralds. In fact, actually, oh, it's about to be nighttime, dude. I want to be able to trade with our Fletcher and actually get over here before things start to spawn and it's bad news and stuff like that. Maybe I'll just sleep in the Fletcher's house if if the Fletcher is still there. Hey, uh, do we have a population left over here? <laughs> Anybody home? P please? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, don't 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 tell me that everybody has been unalive. A a anybody? It a it actually I think it I think they're all gone. What happened? I I made sure to like stay away so that the mobs wouldn't spawn here. Oh, oh, you're here. Man, what's up, dude? Uh, you know, the only downside is it's kind of looking like you're the only survivor, and also, if I'm gonna get emeralds, I need one person to be a Fletcher, and then the other can be a cleric, but it has to be two villagers, so this sucks. You're the last one left. Complete the mission. Too bad we need two people for it. Uh, okie dokie. We'll go walk around a little bit. Maybe, maybe another one is just kind of hiding in a house or something. I mean, obviously our initial Fletcher is gone, so... You'll be, you'll be our Fletcher now. Hey, bud. Cool. Are you excited for this new job? You should be. Give me those emeralds. Great. Um, I'm going to convert all my wood into sticks, and you're going to give us a healthy, healthy supply here. Um, great. Good. I don't have that much flint, though, to be able to rank you up, and you're, you're not going to rank up. Very well, are you? Hey, you know what I can do is I can buy a bow. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I've been living without a bow for so long. Oh, who would have thought that my first time getting a bow here would be through a Fletcher? Brilliant. Except now, uh, hmm. Well, I guess I can at least collect emeralds this way. I don't really need to level them up. The whole idea here is just collect emeralds. So, nice, dude. All right, you stay safe, please. I need you to, to exist. Fortunately, trees. Not in too short a supply. Thanks, Rock. Appreciate you. Nothing there. Uh, any, anybody home? Nope. Nobody there. Okie dokie. Swick. <laughs> oh, God. I can't believe this has happened. Oh, you're a nitwit. 
I'm glad you're alive and all that stuff, but it it would be better if you had the ability to get a profession, you know. Okay. How am I gonna trip on a rock while I'm landing? And um all right, things are really looking up for this village. You know what might be the best way to deal with this situation? I don't know if it's a good way or not, but I I have white wool. I collect all these beds, right? So go collect the beds, have them all kind of in my inventory. And then from there, I make a couple eye of enders, kind of start heading in the direction that they tell me to go, and then hope that I run into another village along the way, and then I can use that village in order to get the remaining Eye of Enders. So let me just yoink some of the beds here, and then I guess I'm just gonna keep on getting wood, getting food, probably getting unalived uh, as soon as I head on the expedition, but also it'll get rid of the uncertainty as to whether or not the Eye of Enders are gonna break every single time. Now begins the arduous process of just Getting more wood, doing trades, getting wood, doing trades. The other thing is, like, I don't really want to make diamond sword, diamond pick, any of that stuff. Kind of worthless, because it's just going to break. Sticks, dude. God, I love sticks, boys. In the meantime, I should probably be cooking some food. That seems like it would be a good idea. Here, let's make a couple furnaces. And, hey, bud, dude, I got I got more sticks for you. Hey, 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 hey don't wander, don't wander too far. Don't make me nervous over here, okay? Pretty please. I got you. Let's 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 get some more emeralds going, dude. Nice. 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 Should I get more bows? Maybe I should get a actually, but that's oh, those are the emeralds that I'm gonna use in order to get. Frick, dude. Frick. Yeah, I don't want to use my emeralds on anything other than Ender Pearls. Hopefully the Ender Pearls are like decently priced. Wow, what a deal! Oh my god, that's just incredible, man. How do you, how do you reduce your prices that much? How do you do it? It's just, oh my goodness. You know what's good about the carrots, actually? Is that smaller iterations of food make it less likely for us to go over the hunger. So we might actually have less getting slowed when we do it that way, which is, which is kind of cool. Pretty good on our food supply, though, which is really nice. I like it. And uh, maybe I'll even re-rack my trees, even though I'm probably not going to be coming back here. After we're done, because R.I.P. R.I.P. Villagers. Hey, how about we uh, make some trees float over here? Hey, man, got a bunch more wood for you. Isn't that exciting? Here we go. Let's get some more emeralds, bro. Oh, such good deals, dude. Such good deals all around. Give me some more. And that's all we got, but that's fine because I can make even more sticks. And I can make even more sticks. It's about to be nighttime, so we'll probably sleep it off. Let him do a little restonk. Why are you wandering so far away from your restonk block? You're gonna get yourself unalived. You don't want that. That's unhealthy. Uh, you see what has happened to all the other villagers in this village? Yeah, do you really want to be a part of that? I don't think you do, to be completely honest with you. Hey, you know what I should do, maybe though? Is get some more air. I'm not even, I'm literally walking as slow as I can possibly walk. Oh, you're not, no, you're not selling arrows. That's kind of a disappointment, I'll be honest with you. I'm just getting more beds because what I don't want to have happen is for me to end up back at spawn, especially if our uh, place that we're going to for the stronghold is like over in that direction or away from spawn. That would be kind of a bummer. I don't break this bed because God forbid I unalive. If it's broken, then it's not going to be good. So we always want to ensure that there's a bed that we've slept in, which unfortunately means like we have to leave some stuff behind as we keep moving, but I feel like that's better than the alternative, which is that we end up back at spawn when we inevitably unalive. Because, yeah, we're, we're going to. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the stronghold without unaliving at some point along the way. All right, just a little bit more prep, more wood, more emeralds, more food, and then I'll be as ready as I can possibly be to head off to a stronghold with no armor, stone tools, as if I just started Excuse me, sir. Are you... Are you the... Were you on a foraging expedition? Like, you're... You're... Is this really the man's? No, this is not the... This is the man's. This is the man's. The man's... 
wandered into the forest. Your profession block was over there, still in your house. You are unbelievable. You're unbelievable. If you had just stayed home and not gone wandering off into the forest, I could have kept trading with you. And I wouldn't need to be finding another village. I thought you were gone. I could have made him a cleric. You absolute waste of my time. I'm exceedingly frustrated right now. Exceedingly frustrated. You could have been you could have been great. Instead, you're just a redundancy. Oh, oh, you're deciding, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I lived. That one day. That's where I lived. Here, give me some freaking awesome arrows, you fool. You absolute fool. I cannot believe you. You complete and utter fool. Complete and utter fool. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. This is a very, very troubling world. And if someone is not in the village, I have to assume that they're gone. Forever. And it, I can't believe this. I really... The, the only two left. The only two that remain. The absolute nerve. Yeah, I bet, I bet you're wondering where your profession block went, huh? Bet you were wondering, huh, I left it here just uh, the other day before I, I, I decided to go just wander off there and yeet myself into the forest. Excuse me, sir. All right. I think it's time we pack up here. I mean, the village served me well until these mans just decided that disrespect was the way forward, okay? Unbelievable. All right, we got an ax. We got some arrows. I really think I need feathers at this point because of that. All right, we got more of that. Dude, we are so good on food. Oh my goodness. Things are looking real up for us. So let's take this. We'll take a few more beds. And uh, we're going to head out on our lovely expedition to hopefully find a new village. Uh, I'm going to take you. Totally fill up our inventory here. I'm going to take you. I shouldn't have done that. I really hope I don't unalive between now and getting back home. But I guess we'll see. All right, let me just uh, scavenge for the remaining beds here, and then we'll head out. I'm thinking, let's leave a little bit of food here, just in case. Not that I'm going to end up respawning back here once I checkpoint myself along the way, but just in case. We'll even do that. Leave some of that there. Maybe we should take some coal in case we need to smelt some more food on the way. I don't know if it's worth my bringing apples, but I guess golden apples would be cool. I'll put away half of those. I'll leave some steak here. We'll be on kind of a veggie diet all in the way. I'll leave my chicken. We'll bring some of the... I guess I guess we'll just be with that. That should be fine. This stuff will be back up. Reserve. I'm going to sleep here. Track the coordinates just in case we need to get back here for some reason. And then, all right, everybody. Step right up. Place your bets on whether or not I have enders shatter immediately. <sighs> Okay, okay, don't shatter, don't shatter, don't shatter. It shattered. We're at, like, approximately negative 149 degrees over there, of course. I mean, that could have that could have just been bad luck. It's very possible that could have just been bad luck. We'll find out when we throw the next one, won't we? Yeah, okay, you may not rest now. There are monsters nearby. Is that right? I, it seems perfectly safe to me. Are you calling me a monster? There we go. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. I'm so worried. I don't know what the best strategy is for this, but... Uh, let's go! <laughs> oh, wee! I was hoping it would be in this direction instead of back towards the village. So, at least something's going in our favor. I don't think it's gonna stay that way, but... Hey, you never know. It would be great if I had, like, a saddle or something, and that way I could just ride a horse, not have to worry about going through food, but... Here we are, regardless. Here we are. I don't know when I should use my next Eye of Ender. That's the question. Should I use it sooner? Should I use it later? Should I just go absurdly far and be like, all right, cool. So uh, now we have to turn around and go the other way. I have no idea where the stronghold actually is, but cool. Or do we just go until we kind of see a village in this direction? And get lucky with that. That might be the way to go. And then I was thinking, once we get underground for the stronghold, maybe that's the point when I start focusing on... <gasps> I see... I saw a campfire. I see campfire. Oh my god, have we already found a new village. That would be the luck of the century. Oh my god, are we actually getting... We are actually getting this lucky. Oh my goodness. 
Never been so excited for chimney smoke before in my life. What is up? My people, how you guys doing? Let's make you, no, we don't want to make you a Fletcher yet. Let's see if there's a church, and maybe we'll be able to get a cleric. We got a lot of BB villagers going on here, dude. Maybe we'll be able to get a cleric without having to invest one of our own blaze rods. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? I think it'd be pretty nice, personally. Oh, an iron helmet. You just, oh, you guys, for me, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. That's so nice of you. Wow, you guys. I can hardly even express my gratitude for your generosity. Like, incredible stuff right there, dude. Incredible. Okay, what do we got? Nothing, nothing real great going on there. Maybe there could be some emeralds scattered in some other chests, but... Okay. As soon as it starts getting to nighttime, we need to sleep ASAP. I cannot be losing these villagers. Not again, because who knows how many we're actually going to have to go through in order to get a cleric that does trade for blaze rods. At least I think I can just do it with a single brewing stand. Hey, that's what I'm talking about right there. It's not looking good for a naturally spawning brewing stand. I think I gotta make it. You wanna, you wanna be a cleric? Oh, there's a freaking skeleton over there. I can't be dealing with that. Not right now, not right now. Let me set a respawn point somewhere in this village in case things go south. Uh, you don't feel tired yet? That's fine because I just wanna set my spawn. All right, my mans, I got you. Let's go make ourselves a brewing stand and hope that we don't have to go through the remaining ones because that's really gonna suck if we do. Hey, which one? You, you, my mans. All right, that is so expensive. Imagine 32 rotten flesh. They just know that rotten flesh are so completely useless that it's like, okay, okay, we got them to rank up. Nice, nice, please be the one, do not do not make me go through all my emeralds. Do I have to give you one more? One more for the trade? Come on, bud. Come on. Let's see that rank up nice. Trade for lappies. I wish that the, bu uh, the bar not filling to where it should would be fixed because I always over trade. You know what I mean? How it's actually further along filled than you think. And there we go. Let's see. Are you filled? It looks filled. Potion particles? Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And, all right. Ooh, that is a lot. That's pretty pricey there. Oh, but it goes goes quick. I think we're going to need to get more emeralds. But we're fine. Come on, come on. Be my man. I must protect at all costs. You are an absolute legend. You are precious. You must be protected. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your patronage. It's great. Okay, you are not going anywhere. Alrighty then. Who else wants a job? Great. Stick trades off the bat. That's what I like to see. Hold on. Let me let me store some other beds in a chest here or something. Out. Let me just chuck some stuff in real quick while we're focusing on things here. Everything is looking looking up for us now. Wait, hold on real quick. Is it lit up in there? I can't I can't tell if it's lit. Not that it would really matter actually because human place torches uh they don't work so well. So it would just break. Actually, glowstone. Duh. What am I doing? I just put a glowstone in there, bro. Light her up from the inside. Yeah. What am I talking about, dude? Hey man. Um let's see. Where do we want to put that thing? Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you need access to your bed. I don't think you do. It's only a breeding thing, so yeah, we're chilling. Hey, mate, you walked by at just the right time. I've got a deal for you. There we go. Hey, let's, let's rank you up. Maybe we'll get a better deal as a result. What are we up to? Nine emeralds, so that'll get us to another two. Oh, God, how many are we going to need? We need a lot more emeralds than I'd like to spend my time getting. We're going to need like 40 or something like that. Ay yeah yeah, I think sticks is always gonna be the easiest. Stop tripping on rocks, you fool. Dang it. Such a beautiful sunset. With everything going our way. Yeah, look at that. Look at it just disappear over the horizon. And I can just go to bed in peace. Ah. I'm gonna sleep soundly tonight. Things have gone well for me today. No stress. Not nervous at all. All right, guys. Really, really sorry about this, but um, I gotta, I gotta clear the way here. It's blocking your path to an extent as well, so you'll thank me later. Uh, what is it with me and not noticing that there's iron chest plates? Um, 
yeah, I didn't, don't know how I did that one. Not not really sure there. Um, can't can't find where the Fletcher is. Hey, dude, what's what's? Uh, oh, actually, uh, I could do, but I don't know if I am going to. It's just going in the mines and getting iron. Very scary proposition. I'm sure I could do it again, but uh, how did these villagers just keep on getting themselves lost? I don't I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. Stop running away. Were you that? No, you, the Fletcher, I've already traded with the Fletcher. So the Fletcher would remain a Fletcher, even if I've removed the, I don't understand. Okay, well, you're the Fletcher now. Am I going to have to protect you? I might have to protect this man's over here too. Hey, what we're going to do is we are going to bring you into the house. Okay, here, come on. Yes, this is your new home now. You live here. Yeah, right? Okay, cool. Oh, the babies can come and go, but. Yeah, not all right. Cool. Actually, I need to keep up the trades with the man's. Otherwise, who knows if his discounts might go down, and that's gonna hurt me. Hold on, I'm coming, man. I'm coming. I've got tons of emeralds, dude. Don't go anywhere. I'm glad that I spaced these all the way across the village. I mean, that's definitely helpful here, sir. I would like, I would like to trade. Here's Johnny. Hey, man. You you gonna come here? Yeah, that's what I like to see. All right. Give me those pearls, man. Give me those pearls. Nice. Cool. And then he walks over to the door after, obviously. Okie dokie. Back to the... I am being permanently screwed over by Fletchers. What is it with you guys? The Fletchers want to become one with nature, and they just want to disappear, and then never want to be seen again, and then, and then they come back as soon as I've decided to hire another one. Mm -hmm. Ungrateful. Hey, man. Guess you can't restock anymore, but here we go. I'll just trade these out. I don't know why you hate your profession blocks so much. It just doesn't make sense. Fletching tables are a thing of beauty. Why would you just go and cast it aside like that? This man's, on the other hand, ready to do business. A true businessman, indeed. There we go. All right. Hey, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back later. And uh, don't you don't you go anywhere. 14 emeralds, so that's another three more up to nine. We're getting close, dude, but we need I honestly I should just I should go 18. Oh god, we're gonna be here for absolutely ages. So I walked through that bush accidentally, and I heard a break. Uh, come to realize it broke the helmet that I got for free from over there. So that's that's good. It's good to know that if I do decide to invest in diamond armor, it can just shatter at any time. Oh, that's exactly what I was hoping to have happen. Well, it makes it a lot easier of a decision as to whether or not I should bother with getting diamond. And the answer is no, no, I should not. Because that would be an absolute waste of my time to go and do that and have it go absolutely nowhere. Up to nine, we're halfway there. Let's just, sorry, I didn't mean to slam the door on you like that, but I pre I appreciate you. I just want to say, I appreciate you and... Okay, I'm hoping that this brings me close to enough with all of the spruce logs I've gotten. Probably not, but... All right, man. Are you ready for some trades? Because I've got them for you. Here we go. Let's do... Uh, come, come here. Come here. Hey, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Closer. Come here. Please. And more. And more, and more, and let's do another stack. No, 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 don't, don't, I, t I tell you not to do. No, do not do. I'll do that. There we go. Even better. Cool. You're safe with me. You're safe with me now. All right? Don't be like the other guy. I'm just trying to get up to, how many is it again? And you got nine times four, so 36 emeralds. Oh, God, is it still not going to be enough? I've gotten so much wood, man. So much. Oh, you're out of stock. No, restock. Restock, dude. You restock a couple times a day. Come on, dude. Come on. I can't believe you've done that. I truly cannot believe that's your restock. That's your restock. You're unbelievable. Do you know that? Do you know that? You're unbelievable. I thought you were the one. But no. Clearly, I was mistaken. <sighs> clearly, I was mistaken. I cannot believe that you would go and do that. I cannot believe. Just, just get me out of here. Just get me out. Just get me out. Hey, yeah, I was, I was kidding. What I said to you before, it was a joke, just a prank, bro. It was just a prank. All right, just, it was just a prank. 
Restock. Dude, let's see it. Come on. Come on. It's plenty of time in the day. It's plenty of time in the day. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you had it in you all along. I never doubted you for a second, okay? I never doubted you. What's what's that? No, again, all a complete joke. It's just a joke before. There we go. Oh, you beautiful, you beautiful creature. You beautiful creature, you. He's out of stock, but it's it's fine at this point because we got 42 emeralds and we're popping off. Okay, let's get those remaining. You were, oh, you're just ready. You slammed the door in my face before, but I'm glad we're on the same page now. Look at that, 19 ender pearls. That is what I'm talking about. Here we go. I'm not going to convert them all yet because just in case, it's like, right, what if I, what if I get lucky and the portal has a lot filled in already, then I can keep some of the ender pearls so I can pearl across a gap if things go south and I have a bad spawn point. All right, we're ready to head out on our way, I, th I think. Okay. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to unload your chunks so that uh, I can come back to you later. God forbid things go south and, and we need to trade for more. Let's just hope that it's not super far away. I'll just leave some additional sticks in there and leave the glowstone in there. We'll be good. We got our extra beds in case this is far away. And dude, all right. Man, today has gone great so far. What can I say? Let's get out into the open over here and uh, toss off a new pearl. We're gonna have to sleep, I don't know, I guess somewhere out in the open tonight, but okay. We're still heading off in this direction. Come on, tell me. <gasps> it's a thing of beauty. I just got really unlucky on the first throw, but I can't believe it did that. And it just got me to buy into the narrative that they probably shatter every time, but they don't. People in the last episode were like, bro, Stop Stop saying that blaze rod should overheat you when when you carry them. Don't give fundy ideas. And to that, I'm now saying, probably shouldn't give fundy ideas with the whole, uh, you know, redoing the probability of uh, Eye of Enders shattering. Cause are you serious? There's another village? Bro, there's Village Central out here. This is crazy. All right, well, good to know that we've got some other options in case things go south. And, uh, yeah, dude, oh, we're gonna be, dude, bread for days. Should I, yeah, actually, I should take some because there's a good chance I'm gonna unalive over and over and over and over and over and over and over again in the end. And because of that, uh, I should bring, the more food, the better, honestly, that I can just put in a chest next to me, uh, or next to the portal. Because obviously we're gonna set a bed down there and, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be swick, dude. It's gonna be swick. Dude, we're going that vegetarian diet here. We got the bread, we got the potatoes, we got the carrots. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it's kind of reflecting what I was doing with, or what I am doing with my diet this year, which is reducing my meat intake a little bit. I, I'm down by like 50% in comparison to where I was at before. And it's been a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like in the mornings, usually I'm ordering like fruit and yogurt or I'm ordering like an avocado toast. I know typical millennial, right? But it means that that's like 50% of my meals out of the way because I eat two meals a day. So that's 50% that don't have meat in them, except when occasionally I order a breakfast burrito. And then for dinner, uh, I vary it up. Sometimes I do order something that doesn't have any meat. Sometimes I do. So it's like, man, it hasn't been nearly as difficult as I thought it was going to be. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm not eating straight hay bales, but... Uh, <laughs> Maybe we'll get there soon. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. How nice. It might just break immediately when I take damage, but it's better than nothing. I would have taken some diamonds, too, to be completely honest with you. But, hey, you know what? Should I? No, I don't have diamonds, so I'm like, mm, probably not even needing to bother with bringing along a grindstone. But, hey, look, wouldn't have had to use two blaze powders. And I just found this one first. I would have been able to freaking get a cleric, and then I would have had more spares, but it doesn't matter. That would have, okay. Only would have mattered if they shatter every time. Then I would have been upset about that, but I'm not concerned any longer. As long as I have food and cobblestone, eventually I will defeat the dragon. Here we go. And we're still heading in this direction. Come on, give me a drop. Give me a drop. Give me a drop. Come on, come on. Yes, my man. That's what I like to see. Ooh, are we gonna enter a jungle over here? Oh my goodness, what do we have here, dude? Check this out. Is this unwise for me to enter? Okay, whoa, 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 I'm boiling in my armor. What? 
I'm, what, what, what the heck is happening here? This is not what I signed up for. Uh, what? What? I don't understand. I don't understand. And also, I'm not going to deal with trip. What? Frick, dude. Ain't nobody got time for lever puzzles. Sure. Give me that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ow. Cease and desist at once. What are you doing? Actually, uh, more arrows in here. Frick. Bro. Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Ow! This is horrifying. This is absolutely horrifying. And there? Whoa! I think that is the most useful freaking... Oh my god! I don't think I've ever actually been in a jungle temple with loot like that. That's insane. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Okay, fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I was fine. I was fine. Everything was fine. Get me water. Can I go in water? You need to stop this at once. I'm not boiling anymore. I'll probably make a diamond sword. It'll be quicker for me to be able to take down the dragon or the enderman as well. Um when I have a diamond sword until it breaks. It'll break. Let's just throw this here, see where it goes. Oh, <gasps> we passed it. We passed it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have passed it. Stop boiling in my armor, you, you idiot. Oh, oh, it's a biome, it's biome related. I get it now, it's biome related. That's what it is, that's what it be. That's what it is, that's what it be. Of course, of course. The biome that the frickin' stronghold would be in is one where I boil. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I understand. I understand now. Uh-huh. I understand now. Let's take that helmet off. We're gonna keep it, because I, I feel like the end is not a place where you boil. Yeah, I don't get that feeling. Also, this is the worst biome to do fine-tuning of Eye of Enders. The absolute worst <laughs> biome for it. At least we have spares, but I'm probably gonna lose one. It's just gonna disappear into the foliage. Oh, back over here. Okay, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. I got you, I see you. I see you, come back. As soon as I'm getting to a point where I see any sort of opening, I've gotta, I've gotta put a bed down and respawn point it, because what if it's actually, what if I can see it like in the, in the ravine over here, that'd be cool. That's not a ravine. Okay. That is most definitely down under there. All right, this is where we dig. This is where we dig then. I'm just gonna start going down here and then I'm gonna seal it off. Jesus Christ, mother of God. Gonna seal it off behind me. Yep, yep that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I get to the fortress, the stronghold, um, I'm gonna put down a bed. And what I'll do is I'm gonna keep, I'll keep blocking off the path behind me. Am I, am I gonna boil here? Is it biome dependent? Watch it be biome dependent. Don't, yep, okay. It's 100%, it's biome dependent. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. I am forced into open areas with mobs. I'm forced into it. And it's in a biome where I boil. That's really annoying. I don't need all these beds, I guess. That's extremely annoying. Oh, would you look at that right there, dude? Okay, all right. Bedtime. Put down some stuff because I, I think there's a really, really good chance that um, we're gonna we're gonna get into trouble. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm actually, I'm gonna go back up and then this way, um, I won't have to worry about wood. I must do that. Hello, are we, are we in the good shape? Everything fine, everything's good. And then we won't have to worry about running out because it was kind of kind of low there. All right, ready to go and explore. I'm bringing this just in case. I don't know how far away the uh, thing is gonna be. Hopefully the portal will be nice and nearby. I'm very worried about this because I have a, a terrible feeling that there's gonna be a lot of mobs and they're all gonna wanna blow me up and it's not gonna be super fun. But you know what might be a good idea actually is making lots of torches so that I can actually light up some spots in here, maybe reduce the amount of mob spawns. Because if I have to deal with a bunch of charged creepers, it's not gonna be really fun. Okay, well, uh, place your bets. 
Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, on whether or not I am going to be able to find the portal uh, without unaliving multiple times in advance. Oh, God. Or place your bets on how many times I'm going to unalive before I find the portal. That's the other way to raise it. Hey, we got, we got spare now. That's cool. That's great. And we also have some iron. That's that's really nice. Okay. Oh yeah, I ate too much. Great. All right. You know what? I think uh, this might be a good spot for. <laughs> might be a good spot for us to wind things down for the day. Oh, you make me very scared going down deep dark staircases. So make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if uh, you've missed any other episodes of this and you want to catch up, see how we got here to begin with, and subscribe to the channel. Bell me if you're not already. And, um, yep, I guess I'll see you next time where we're going to find the portal and uh, try to fight the dragon. Surely that won't be a problem. Nope, no way, not at all. <laughs>